Let's put two clips on the timeline here. And the transitions button is right here. It's the one, two, three, four, five, sixth button from the right. So these are all your transitions. You can go through, there's a million of them. Um, they're very simple to apply. Like for instance, let's apply the cross dissolve. I have two clips in my timeline. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to click and drag my transition in between two clips. That's not what I wanna do. I forgot, hold on. Let me do that. There we go. So I have the transition here. Let me zoom in. There's my transition. If I play it, we can see it fades to two clips. One thing that's really nice about Final Cut Pro is it doesn't just dissolve the video like it did in 7, but it also does the audio for you. So that's really cool. If I didn't like it, I can just click on the transition, hit the delete key, and there's no transition anymore. Okay. Fading uh, video and audio out. So we're at the end of our video and we want to fade everything out. Super simple. I just take that transition. I drag it down to the end of my clip. There it is. Again, it fades the audio and video out. Boom. Same for the beginning. I can click and drag that transition to the beginning of my timeline, and there it is. It fades in. Yeah, fade to color. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, so if I click on that one, if I add that to the end, I can click on my transition, and in my inspector, I get some options for this particular transition. So like, for instance, it's a fade to color, so you should be able to select the color that you want to fade to. So I want to fade it to, say, yellow. I can select yellow, hit play, there it goes. You can uh, change the duration of things. So say I put this cross dissolve in between my clips. If I hover, just like trimming the in and out point of a clip, I can hover my mouse over the either the in or the out point of the cross dissolve and I can shrink it or expand it to be however long I want it to be. 